Right then, it's that time, Jay. Go on. Shallow fishing. So, <laughs> you saw them indications that we're getting. It's yeah. time to have a go. Now, it might not necessarily be right for this point in the session or match, whatever. Yeah, it's still early, isn't it? Really early. It is, and, you know, it's one of them, I'll give it five minutes. I've not had anything within five minutes. Obviously, you can start by changing your depths. What I'll do, I'll come a little bit deeper. Still no signs within sort of maybe a minute. Yeah. Then I'm just going to go back on the bottom. Yeah. We know there's fish on the bottom. It's pointless trying to force them if they don't want to be there. Mm. Now, you touched on it before, Jay. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're not going to be there at some point in the day. Yeah. When this sun warms up, it's, it gets to like 13 to 14 degrees still. So it does warm it up quick. Yeah, they um, want to be there very quickly. Definitely. And I can't stress how much quicker you can catch them shallow than you can on the bottom. Yeah. It's right, isn't it? When, when you're getting there competing, it's that's why I pretty much don't do anything else all through the <laughs> summer or still now even through the winter. And obviously fish like Ide in particular, the silvers, they, they love they love feeding up in the water. Yeah, it, it's amazed me over the years. It's when you get them nice days, even in December, a little bit of mildness and you still catch them shallow. Mate, it's just ridiculous. I mean, it's competition, isn't it? It's, yeah. Because you'd happily go roach fishing in February and yeah. catch roach shallow. Well, that's when you have like normal silver matches, isn't it, yeah. when it's colder? So why is it any different? Yeah, definitely. You, fish you, on you'll them. see them flashing and you'll still catch them and it'll be mm. that cold, won't it? Yeah. There's um, enough fish there that are always going to compete shallow, potentially. Mate, there's loads of fish out there. Come on, loads, we're going to be up in a minute, sec. Yeah. What are you looking at? Big Come. buzzard over there behind Is there a big boozard? I like seeing well, I like big boozards. Not yeah. many red kites, though, is there? Don't see any up here. So do you yeah. don't just get fishing in this programme, folks. You get like a wildlife watching everything. We've Somewhere seen king in the undergrowth. In everything. Foxes, there's normally <laughs> wild pigs running around, isn't there, Jay? <laughs> They're biting anyway. the dolly butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sausages now. Um, right, so, as we said before, shallow rigs and the shallow rigs. Now, your traditional shot of shallow rigs are them little dumpy floats and little maybe diamond bodies and that, aren't yeah. they? For like fishing up to like, what, 18 inches or something. Yeah, that's a deep rig, isn't it? Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Um, whereas these kind of shallow rigs, again, it's got that traditional sort of old style Chianti style shape body, so you can watch it all the way through the water. Yeah. Very important as well, the carbon stem. Or mm -hmm. sort of a fine glass, but just so it follows your bait down. Yeah, it's not a wire. Definitely, you don't want a wire for fishing up in the water. Um, got exactly the same main line on as we had in that other rig, 0.16. Uh, back shots on again, but this float it only takes four number 11 shot. Really, really four light. Number 11, it? And it actually yeah! says, Lovely. Would you stop taking the mic? Oh, thank piss. you. I'm gonna have some of these, I like these ones. <laughs> no, they're, honestly, they're amazing. So, yeah, four number 11 shot, spaced nice and evenly down the line. I don't think you can get that in, Rich, can you? Can you get an angle where you can get it in? I'm moving it, mate. I'm moving it. I'm not letting you. I'm not letting you, Rich. But basically, them number 11s are what over sort of two foot. And then we float set at about three, three and a half foot. Yeah, just a lovely slow fall, isn't it? So yeah. it's dead interest to me though, and uh, Go on, mate. what does make a difference is length of line between float and pole. It's crazy how it doesn't make in the summer, if you were to do that, you You've would miss every single bite, bite in the world. <laughs> but then I think obviously again that's where them back shots coming into it. It definitely helps, doesn't it, to, to hook Because obviously you. when I'm you're seeing it in a set when Rich expertly zooms in on the float. When I'm laying it in, again, I'm going to hold a right tight line to it, so the float's coming in that yeah, angle. Yeah, sort of, so it's still tight. it's always tight, tight. Yeah. you know what I mean? So when you get a bite, you straight, well, theoretically straight into it. Yeah. So it's still mishide. Because it's deeper, they, they just tend to have it better, just, don't they? They nail it, but they've got more confidence, haven't they? Yeah. Uh, and the other thing as well, I've got a six inch up length on it. All through my summer fishing, I'd always say like three, four inch at the most with shallow fishing, but again, it's just going to act that much more natural when it comes through the water. Yes. Exactly the same hook on, a Guru uh, F1 16s, you know, nice, biggish hook. And I'm going to walk it through the side, which is very important. Mm -hmm. You know, as what we talked about before, it's that little parachute. parachute. Yeah, yeah, parachute effect just before yeah. we come in. Mm. Uh, and I think, well, don't think, I know we're going to catch on it, mate. I'm that confident. Are we having it? You're and going I'm going to throw a white maggot well. straight away. Go on. I'm on it, white maggot straight away. I'm, I don't know if I'm feeling it. Are you not? You're not saying know. that I'd on a white maggot? I, I'm feeling it. Oh, are you saying a little Bobby Roach? I think Bobby Roach. Do you know what Only I need to do, we're though, so Jay? In session, you know, we're doing it when we should be doing this in an hour's time. Definitely. We're just doing it to show because... Do you know what I need to do as well though? Just before I do that, I'm going to go and sneak a bit of corning down here. Yes, it's time. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's worth mentioning, Jay, isn't it? Um, when to feed the edges, sort of like summer and sort of coming into this, this time of year, autumn, winter. I'd generally give it, so if the match started at half ten, I'd give it till twelve before I started it. Mm. Depending on what I'm fishing for, if it's carp, I'll definitely leave it that long. If it's yeah. F1s, which are quite... Yeah, come in the edge a bit quicker. earlier. You can get on them straight away, can't you? Yeah. The, um, the way you're fishing the edge as well, so this is wintry. It's, it's not even we're, edge, is it? Edge we're is not really word. expected to catch a great deal, but it is going to be bonus fish that you'll need. Yeah. And it might be like literally the last hour, even half an hour of the session. Yeah. You reckon? But what you've got to do is prime it into. You need a little bit of teasing, especially on these pallets. So I do think they live under them. 
You get in and need a bit of teasing. Still got a bit of ground bait in for Mr. Day. I'm giving him forty. <laughs> but anything from like, pinch, it? yeah, you know, up a dozen, dozen grains of corn, anything like it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Just a little tiny pinch. Would you agree that ground bait officially goes out window now? Hundred percent, mate. I wouldn't put ground bait. The only reason I've got ground bait in this pot is from uh, yesterday. <laughs> from the weaver, where yesterday. I caught loads and loads on the. Weaver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not. I didn't really catch that many, Jay, but enough about that. So, yeah, so just particles, nothing else. And just particles, amount. nothing else. I don't want to give them any other option. Certainly not pellets, just corn. Just a nice visible bait. They're going to come into it. Are you yeah. waiting for me to tip it out, Rich? I'm not doing it, man. We're not it like that. I'm going to put it on there. I'm going to feed the rats. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll notice I've not gone right close to the platform. I'm just coming out nice, um, about a foot out where it's lovely and flat. Yeah. We'll talk you through this rig in a bit. As I said, we're just... We're just starting off at the minute. Is that a buzzard there? Two buzzards. Mate, that's a, that's a crow. So there we go, that. that's gone in. Over a little bit of an area again. Yeah. And it's just that bit what, of attraction that we need. What time, not on, a minute throughout the match, how early would you feed that before fishing it? Um, as I said, normally I'd give it like that, hour, hour and a half or something, and then I'd start feeding it. But it might be another two hours before you even fish it. Would you? You'd feed it two yeah, hours? Yeah, definitely. Before. And what, you might top it up once or twice? I'd maybe feed it every 20 minutes, I reckon. Would you give them a little? 20 minutes, uh, not as many as there. I'll probably put like six or eight, well, no, in my handfuls, I'll probably put a bit more in, but yeah. I'd like to stick to six or eight grains a day. Yes, little Whether pinch. it be that, but one thing for sure, I'd never give it one of them. No, no, Because you're just getting them all not over the place. Not till you fished it, yeah. Not till you fished it. It might be that, that well, I can't see it being today, but it might be the case of like filling it in, but it's not no, going to be this it's time. not. What you've done is exactly Ultra what accurate. I'd do. Definitely, mate. Am I doing something right, Jay? Tease them, mate. Old one, mate. I'm doing something right, folks. Right, come on, let's get on with this shallow rig. So, we've still got this short swim on the go. Now, bearing in mind, because we're fishing shallow, what I want to do is feed before I get out there. So, by the time I've got out there, hopefully, there's going to be a fish waiting for me. So, I'll ping that bait in. Now, you'll know when Rich expertly zooms in on this float, when I lay it in, it's important for me that I always lay it out to the side but more importantly, I'm holding a tight line to that back shot. There you go. Whoa, that's a little dink then. Well, they might be very shallow. I think they're very shallow. So I'll hold a tight line to that back shot, and I'm just going to ping round it. Ideally, not load past it, but round it. So instantly, I'm, I'm reading where the bites are coming on the float, Jay. Now, every bite yeah. that we're getting is coming, is it still on that angle? Yeah, it's still So that quite tells me high. that the fish are even shallower. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. So this one's sinking out a little bit deeper, but the bites we've had before they've been on that angle. So there's nothing on that go. The longest I will leave it would be like, well, that would be the longest I'd leave it, 15 seconds. Yeah, once it's reached the, the end of its descent. Bottom of that four, so it doesn't look natural, does it? No. Once that bait suspended, it doesn't look natural. We're keeping this stream of bait going. I think these are a little bit... Oh! <laughs> that idea He's on! Oh, well, it might be a skimmer. Now, one thing that I didn't mention before, folks, was my elastic choice. You'll see it's different. Um, it's a soft three to sixes. Now, it's very important, Jay, isn't it, with a soft elastic. Oh, everything. You've got to, especially this time of year. I mean, even like when it gets proper cold, I'll use like single fives and sixes. Yeah. Because of this bit here, these eyes, they don't really fight. So if you're putting too much pressure on them, you're going to rip out of them. Oh. <laughs> you're not having a go. It's my <laughs> go only, Jay. Now, you'll notice as soon as I hook that fish, I fed. Now, obviously, the main thing is when you've got these fish in that column, is keeping that bait going in. Mm. It's so important. It's not only is it stopping the likes of him getting him, because he'll be feeding all the time, uh, you're keeping them fish in your peg, simple as that. Yeah. And the other thing you notice, I've not unshipped. Uh, it's just it's speed, isn't it? Yeah. It's just speed perfect. all the time. Mm. Now he's nailed it. So again, that tells me. So we had them two bites straight away where our float was like that. Yeah. Tells me the shallower. And that's nailed it, which tells me it's had it. Just that before again it was quite an early deck. bite, wasn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to shallow up. I'm going to take like sort of six inches off it. <laughs> Didn't like that. Didn't like that, did he? I just Didn't mate, like it snug. Second Very best snug. in will. Second no. best in will, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll change that maggot over. As I say, I'll change it every time unless it's a spiky perch. Told you white maggots mate, didn't spiky I? Spiky perch. Know what I mean? I want to catch a big perch now. You want to catch a big perch? Yeah. And I'm gonna take sort of four to six inches off that. Bring me back. Oh, nice. That's like well. dead similar to carp shallow fishing in it. Yeah. Where you can just use the same rig. You're not going to mess about with them six flipping shallow rigs that we have in the summer on chalk kits. No. It's so much not. easier, isn't it? To... Carp is so much easier to catch shallow out of the F1 yeah. these well, It's just me less prep, doesn't it? Which yeah. we always like that. Yeah. Oh, mate. <laughs> the least. Uh, so, like yesterday, I got my little lad making my rig up for me, folks. 
So again, I've still got this room on the go here. We might even catch Shella there, Jay. What do you reckon? Well, it could happen. Tell you what, there's a lot of F1 to our left, isn't there? There is. They've got to come and feed too. The other thing that'll work as well, we don't need to do it yet, but I've done it that time, is I've flipped my rig past uh, where I'm fishing. Because then big old wise, crafty, clever ones will just back off it a little bit, won't yeah. they? Yeah, you still, even when you're fishing shallow, you do the same and try and keep all your bait this side of your pole. Or Definitely. that's the vast majority of it. See, the odd one is inevitably going to go past yeah, it. Yeah, it's but impossible, isn't it? Ideally, so. I want it to like that. That's yeah. perfect for me. That's They're instant lovely, bite time, isn't it? When it's like that. Oh, we bumped it. Again, we've got a tight line. We shallowed up a little bit and instantly we, we've had two bites. Bump one, I think it was a, probably a small fish. Oh, I was a bit slow on that one. I do apologise. <laughs> <laughs> but you see the beauty now, I don't have to be on my marker. That, that bait's going in a bit of a, a bit of an area so you can try left and right and I said that a little yeah, bit further out. Yeah, much bigger peg to use the other. Come in. F1 were closer then. These fish are shallower. So you see every bite I'm getting now, we see it again, they're coming even shallower. So the next time I come back, if I don't catch one this time, in fact, I'm going to come back and take a little bit of depth off it. You're just reading where the fish are all the time on your float. You say if you're getting bites where it's sort of like there, yeah. yeah. None of them are at the end. None of them are at the bottom of that floor. No. And so that's where you want to be, isn't it? Pointless persevering with it, isn't it? Yeah. Just come back and change your rig to suit what's happening. Now the other thing I'll do is just move these shots down slightly, just to allow for that even fall. And I'll bring that float down even more and bring your back shots down to suit. So we're right there. We started off what? Three and a half foot, we're now at not even two foot now, are we? Yeah. You know, we've come proper, proper shallow. But again, the traditional sort of um, shallow floats that you use in the summer, this, they're still not right for it. No. You've got to go on these ones. Keep that bait going in there. Ping a bit of bait out, just to get them fish waiting for you. You reckon we get one now? We're going to hit one now, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling an idea. Having it, aren't we? Go on. Go on, go on. Yeah! We knew it, well, mate. It's crazy. Didn't we? When you get it right, it's, it's just instant, isn't it? Yeah, they, they sort of hook themselves against that back shot, don't they? Yeah, and it's the same as what I talk about a lot when I'm shallow fishing. It's not putting up with the, oh, I'll get one in a minute. Yeah, if yeah. something's wrong and you're you, missing bites, fix you, it. You, you, well, yeah, you, you saw it then. That's what I wanted to get across to all you lovely people. It's pointless just staying there doing something that the, the fish. The fish are quite happy to feed somewhere else. Yeah. It's important to stay in there until you catch one. Because you've seen that, a quick change. I do. And we've had one straight away. Ones, aren't they? I didn't realise they were that big. Oh, mate, I had them to like three pounds in the fish all qualified. Yeah, I want to qualify from here. You did winning on here, didn't you? <laughs> all down to you, mate. Quick phone call to this one, folks. <laughs> Yeah. It's like that. No, whatever you want to do, Andrew, we've got to call Andrew. That means I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> whatever you think you want to do, Andrew, don't do it. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, right. Now you did that. that was I did at take least, casters. Yeah, that's what did the winning. Yes, and big dirty eyes. Mm -hmm. So again, like match conditions. These are the, the thing with eyed. I think we've got to touch on this, Jay. Uh, the way I'd feed. You, you seem to have like a, a mad hour on them, don't they you? They gorge themselves, don't they? And then they just like they like me in fish form. So they like just like completely <laughs> fill themselves up, and that's it. I can't eat anything else. Chub are exactly the same. Yeah, I they think just feed the themselves thing, up and then go. But then chub right. would come back again for more. Yeah. When I'd have gone, generally that's it. But do you, do you ever find like when there's eyed and F ones in a venue, catch the eyed first and the F one always will be underneath them. Always. It's not so. Always, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got one on there? Yeah, we've got one on here. Go <laughs> on, Rich. Freebie, that, one. that didn't even <laughs> bleep or anything then, Rich. Well, I'm just going to fish the top kit all day. But yeah, it's so so important that you don't miss out on that initial uh, run of them eye, didn't it? Yeah, by being stubborn and not going shallow when it's worth a quick go, just have a look. You've seen the size of them. The people around you are catching them, like, and you can catch them really quick, as you've seen. Yeah. And if you're not, you're not on them. Yeah, I didn't just... even think they were going to be there like that. I don't think you caught one on deck. No, we didn't catch that on no, deck, no, I don't we think. No, we didn't. A couple of crews, didn't we? Yeah. but the eyes are there instantly. We, we knew that, obviously, through the, through the indications and our float and that, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, and you've put two for a pound and a half in the net in. I know we're I'm going to catch another one. Go on, catch As I said, we're, we're, we're fast-forwarding everything, folks, for all, for all you lovely lot. You, you find that now, so like you say, you can have a quick run yeah. of who knows how many. It could be ten, it could, could be a hundred. We, we could have, like, an hour on them, we could have two hours on them, but one thing's for sure, wherever I've fished in the country for ride, they'll never, ever stay with you. No. They always Not go. Not there's millions Remember of Remember Blundells, that used to be the one. Yeah, on, you used to have three uh, hours, didn't you? You used to have, like, three hours, but they're all, like, two pounds. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. So good, isn't it? So good. Right, so, still going to feed that there. I'm convinced we're going to catch shallow there, Jay. <laughs> I'm thinking you know that I mean? myself. Oh, no, I've tangled the rig. 
Oh, we t right, just um, just point the camera on them buzzards or something, Rich. <laughs> just while I uh, just while I undo this, mate. God, that's a sparrow. I, I was a um, yeah. There's a robin over there, Rich. I was just a little bit clumsy. Just um, I want to catch these. Getting a we bit. Got some uh, just coming off that roll. I was just. Oh, he's still filming me, Jay. I was a bit clumsy coming off that uh, that roller then. And this is what happens. You see what happens when you try and rush things. I do. Uh, Why has he got five boxes of that? I do box? like. Go on, Jay. Take over, mate. Take and we're. Yep. Yeah. You're going to cut all that out, aren't you, Rich? You're going to cut all that out. <laughs> but it, it's quite easy to get in tangles with shellfish, isn't it? Go yeah. on, Jay. Back me up. Back me up. I'm just wondering why we got so much Vaseline. How much what? Why have we got Vaseline everywhere? Mate, it's rosy lips, isn't it? Oh right. Got to have a tub of rosy lips. Right. right, come on. Love another one. Love another one. Nice tight line. Look it past it. That's instant eye, isn't it? That. Instant eyed, and this is why you've got to fish with them light floats, you know, no more than four. <laughs> now, now you're right there. You ain't missing a bite, no. So that Crazy, was right, right at the bottom of that, that four. Yeah, so we found where the fish are now, folks. Yeah, by just shallowing up that little bit at a time, we know the fish are there and they're quite happily. That so was right at the bottom, holding back on that rig. You're doing, I don't do that a lot. Do you know? But it shows you massively what's going on, doesn't it? Really holding it tight. Oh, mate. It tells you exactly where you they are. You just don't miss out, Jay. No. And this is a beauty like these bigger hooks as well. You just don't miss out with them. No. Baggy now. Right, so we've got this silverfish qualifier in here. And I've, I've like... Yeah, seen but, oh, kingfisher, kingfisher. Oh, go on, Rich. Just going through. King, get the kingfisher on. Oh, he was too fast, you, that one. You've seen what I'm going to do now, haven't you? Yeah. To be fair, you're going to do it anyway, though. We might you? have to break the ice when we're here. Yeah, that's true, mate. It's going <laughs> to be pretty well cold, isn't it? It's going to be pretty cold. Yes. Can I have one more? One well, more. Have one more, and then I want to see what you're doing that short line. Yes! Now. One more, one more, one more. This time. White maggots, Jay, isn't it? You're liking it. It's just steady, isn't it? Fishing the way you are, you're going to catch. Everything. Weight wise, just... you're going to catch at least £25 in the first couple of hours. Yeah, That's without a doubt. Yeah, without so a doubt. Two to a pound on average, or a little bit bigger. As I say, like, them, them ones down there, mate, they were, they were getting on for £3, the proper, like, yeah, old, some of the old ones. Styly ones. Yeah. Lovely ones, they were. And it's that bit there where I've just pinged that bait out, so obviously there's fish coming into it, and then I'm convinced that when it's at that optimum depth of this rig, that's when them fish are going to take it. Yeah, because you, you stop getting the, the little pulls that you were getting when you were too deep, and now it's oh. just that. I mean, that were a bite, wasn't it? It's proper. All right, I was a bit slow, Jay. I do yeah. apologise. <laughs> but again, it could be that they'll, they'll come shallower than this. I, w I don't really want to come shallower than this, because I think we're at the right depth. Yeah, I think we're at perfect oh. depth now. So as, again, as soon I've not talked on this much yet, have you? As soon as you've hooked it, feed, ship back, feed again. Just keep them fishing your swim. Yeah. But again, oh Jay, what are we on, mate? Have you caught one of mine? Did I put a pellet on them? I think it's a bigger ride. Yeah, yeah, he's not an F1. Well, maybe. Oh, I don't know, mate. Oh Vermin! I was he's... gonna get on this and catch on them fish. Tell you what. <laughs> is this what you're gonna do straight off? <laughs> What, you reckon, play him out there, Jay, or the bit angry? No, I'll drag him in, isn't it? It's not an eye, is it, Jay? I don't know. I think it's a... It could be a... one of them big, massive ones you were just on about. It's Western, isn't it? Everything's hard here. Everything fights. Might no, be a that, barbel. That isn't an eye That is not an eye. <laughs> so, again, it's worth mentioning, when you've got a big wobbly one on, keep that bait going in. As I say, if people around you are feeding, you're not, they're going to nick them off you. Now I want to go straight back in out there and catch, you know, get on catching. Oh, Jay. What are your fish doing turning up already? Like that. He's convinced with maggots, though, people, isn't he? Pellets, <laughs> get on the maggots. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to go on the platform? They like he a bit knows of that, where it is, doesn't he? They like a bit of platform action, don't they? So this is why you can still definitely get away with point 12 and it? Ah, well, these are the especially, fish. This is especially when hard, isn't it? Especially when they're sort of shallow. They're not, not really interested in your rig then, are they, mate? You know what no. I mean? You see the bait, nail it. The, the idea is to get them competing. Simple as that. The eyed ear. You like that? Eyed <laughs> ear. But this isn't an eyed ear. No, now, obviously, isn't. when you get one F1, generally, there's more there. That's so we just stay on this up. in the match. But we're not going to. I'm taking my time. I do apologise. <laughs> I on. didn't want to catch F1s anyway. No. So, if you... Do get one that falls off because you're giving it a bit too much stick. You just have a quiet word with yourself and get on with it. You carry on again. No Tourette's needed. It's right, just one of them, isn't it? What, what, what are we doing? We're going short now. We're going... We've done shallow this, you know, I'm not just going to let to you... To be fair, but yeah, I mean, joking apart, I was trying to 
pretty much pull his head off then to I get him in. The but next step that you take your time. We'd have to fish for a while to show. Is that well, you, you've reached that depth now? Yeah. What all? Well, I'd imagine that, and I don't know what you think. You'll you'll get bites less and less potentially, and then you just you, go deeper again. So, yeah. What, so what happens? You get, you get bites less and less, but you hook more because they don't really want to come shallow Ooh, because yeah. of the water. It's like the perfect. It, it just it, it nails them. But then obviously when you stop getting bites, so like for me, it's five goes through. Obviously, no, five do. goes through every 15 seconds. If I don't get a bite, I'm instantly coming back. Yeah. You just get to know, like, over that time period, the, the more you do something, pretty much this is all I've ever done since day one, you get to know that they're not at that certain depth. Yeah. So the next thing I'd do, we'd come back, then I'd go back the opposite way at six inch intervals. Yeah. Simple as that until you find them yeah. again. Yeah, it's, yeah, so I talk about a lot is because you, in open water, you've got very few options. Yeah. You've got short, long, and down the edge. Yeah. yeah. You need as many options within each of them options. You with me? So on the yeah, long no, line, no, you've got on deck, yeah, yeah, yeah. But plus you've got, like we've got six foot out there, so we've potentially got six foot, four foot, three foot. Two, yeah, 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 yeah. You've got, and it's amazing that you can go into certain levels of the water and find fish when and you think you there's none above it. Mate, yeah. You can't 100%. just have a shallow rig and, or you have a deck rig, but you've got to have lots of different, and that rig's so versatile that you can muck about. It's good, isn't it, that? And fish all over the place, I like that. Loving that, aren't you? I might take that over. You're having it, mate, there's a winder here for you. Oh, I like that. In fact, there's one there with no shots on that me landed for you. Lovely. You can have that. Well, I'll have the winder back. <laughs> uh, right, so yeah, that, that shows you the importance of knowing when to change, obviously from the deep to the shallow, and staying on them. Because yeah. as I said, with, with eyes, I mean, it might be that they've gone now, there might be a load of F1s there. Usually, when you catch one F1, that tends to start. say that they're going. You know what yeah. I mean? They've had the fill. But then F1s are bullies. They will, I mean, the, the bigger fish. Yeah, we're on our own today as well, so the F1s oh. will take over quicker than in a match. Definitely. Um, so that's hopefully you've seen an insight there into when to go shallow. Basically, you stay on that until it goes a bit quiet or completely dead. And yeah. then you maybe try it on bottom again. If that's not right, that's when you come to the short line, which we'll go through now. Yes.